This machine is piling through pounds of debris found here on Fort Myers Beach. And what it's doing is it's taking dirty sand and making it clean. The crews here are stuck with a constant reminder that everything in that debris once belonged to someone. Miles and miles of clean white sand turned dark and dirty. The before and after comparison for Fort Myers Beach is difficult to comprehend. There's a little bit of everything in the sand right now, from uh, pollution to germs to pieces of glass. FGCU Marine and Earth Science Professor James Douglas recently completed a week-long study where he and other scientists looked at what's in the Gulf waters after the hurricane. Douglas says the sand on Fort Myers Beach is nowhere close to immune from the hazards and debris left behind. One of the things that can be mixed in with the sand is what my colleague here at the university studies, microplastics. So little bits of uh, human debris, um, little plastics that get shredded by the wind, um, uh, shavings of uh, every kind of uh, human product imaginable are sort of mixed in with the natural rocks and shells of the beach. And those things can uh, hurt uh, sea life if sea life eats them, and they can uh, leach a little bit of uh, toxic chemicals into the water too. Lucky enough, this big red machine is on Fort Myers Beach sift through the sand and screen it from debris. How does it work? I climbed on myself so you could see. All right. The county hired a company called ICS Materials to oversee the operation. This tractor loads the hopper or the big container with dirty sand. So everything comes from, he's putting all the material, the sand, the dirty sand into here. And then this is filtering everything and it comes out through those two. The sand sifter then filters items into two sections, big or small. Big items get dropped into a pile on the left. Small items get dropped into a pile on the right. Clean sand goes up the tall conveyor belt and adds onto these big piles of fresh sand, which will be used to restore the shoreline of Fort Myers Beach. Thank you. No worries. A spokesman with ICS Materials told me crews here have picked up more than 80,000 cubic yards of debris. And as for those two clean mounds of sand over there, each one is 5,000 cubic yards. On Fort Myers Beach, Emma Heaton, Wink News.